All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Teemo top lane in Season 12. So what I recommend right now is PDA, Triumph, Alacrity, Cutdown, and then Taste of Blood and also the Refinous Hunter. Now, what we also have in this game is a Dorn's Ring with Ignite. So I'll teach you how to play. Like Teemo top lane, in my opinion, believe it or not, is a very, very strong champion right now. And... I'm kind of impressed how some people are say that Teemo is a bad champion. Well, they have literally no clue what they're talking about. You know, Teemo is like one of those champions that have been pretty busted like ever since Season 11 and ever since Season 12. It's looking pretty good for them. Well, this guy's pretty much dead. Oh, he's healing up from the corrupting pot. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got a potion. He healed up from it. Smart. He's got a Dawn Shield so he can uh, heal up from all my auto attacks. And then he also has the corrupting pot using the potion as well. It's pretty smart from him. Alright. Whatever. So good things, um, um, you know, bad things aside, we perhaps like perhaps we didn't get the kill on Sion. It is what it is. Um, but at the same time, he did actually lost like quite a bit of XP from it. If he comes back right now, then we are going to have a lead on him. Um, the only problem now is like once he comes back, he will probably come back with uh, with an extra item, I think. Ooh, okay, he's got two pots. Well, that's not bad. But we do have a hacker on top side. Yes, Probably not much I can do. Like hacker is currently down here. We had we do have a cane top side, but he can't really do anything. We also cannot poke Sion right now because the wave is so big from him um, that if I try and walk up close, he will slow me and then kill me. So we're gonna have to play it safe a for a bit. Okay, in his top side, I'm gonna see if I can. He messed up his Q pretty badly. Nice. I'm holding my Q till the end, just hoping that I can drop it on the last moment. He's gonna have to come back at some point. He's gonna lose a lot. So now we got his flash as well. That's looking good. So every single time that Sion is going to move off for a CS, whether he's going to queue it or just auto attack it, we are going to be there to drop the auto queues down. And as long as we avoid Sion's damage, um, then it's all going to be good. So the main objective is that we stack the wave up as much as we can here. And then not only poke Sion, but actually avoiding his damage. That is the main objective here. Pretty easy to do because Sion, you just drops Q down. You can often just sidestep it because Teemo has like W, which provides movement speed. So it's not that hard to do. I'm gonna use my potion here. Um, there is a fair possibility that we might actually get ganked, so I think I'm gonna backport. All right. Kind of wasteful for my potion, but whatever. So first things first, when you play Teemo, your first item will always be a Berserker's Greaves, okay? Regardless of the matchup, whether you are in a very hard matchup or you're in a very easy matchup, Berserker's Greaves gives movement speed, which is what Teemo needs for kiting, and the attack speed gives a very, very big power spike. It's something you cannot miss when you play Teemo. It's way too, way too, uh, too important. Now, obviously, we can freeze out the wave right now, and we can benefit from it, um, but we don't want to freeze the wave. We actually want to have the wave being stacked up again and push it into him, because otherwise he's going to back. We don't want that. And that should be a kill here. Yep. Thank you. 
We were level 6, Sion was level 5. We all set the wave in a good spot. So either like Sion accepts what it was and he's gonna back off and wait for me to hard push. Or he's gonna try like he just did right now and hope it's gonna work. Obviously don't. We have Berserker Screech, but he could have tried. Like the thing is, we are putting this wave in a position where Sion will always lose, all right? So it doesn't matter like how Sion approaches it. Once we have the wave in a good spot, it's very hard for him to do anything. It's just kind of how like, uh, it's kind of how the matchup goes all the time. Good. Let's play some shroom here, another shroom here. I'm going to use my passive to gain up some attack speed. So the objective is simple. We just want to get like into poking now. We know where the enemy jungle is because he's showing up in bot lane. He's ganking the lane right now. So we don't even need wards anymore. I'm going to use the passive. Got the first plane. You see what like Teemo is capable of doing? It's kind of like... This is one of the reasons why Teemo top is so strong. Because if you are in a good matchup, like it's technically... You technically cannot lose. In short. So Hecarim is going to be top at some point now. Okay. I was kind of hoping that he would like ult into me, but he didn't. Oh, he's gonna into my shroom. Could have technically killed him there. Technically. So once again, we have a good push. I'm assuming that Zion is gonna stay on our tower. And I'm also assuming that I'm about to be ganked by Hecarim. Because it's... Yes. You know, it's pretty obvious, right? So I'm just going to be waiting here. Seems like Hecarim is topside, but not here. That's good to know. So back to pushing again. Now we take the plate. And then we're going to be using my next two shrooms right now. The ones that I have to push the upcoming wave and then we go back after uh this guy did actually get a mercs uh with the ruby crystal so he does come back a lot stronger now so this is the part where we have to be very careful we do have a cane top which we could maybe use hmm. yeah it's gonna try obviously Oh, I got you. I played. <laughs> I played, my man. I'm sorry for you, buddy. <laughs> By the way, Ecos11, hey, thank you so much for the resub prime two months, man. Thank you for that. Thank you for the support, man. Okay. So now we go back. I'm just going to leave the tower for what it is. If I stay for longer... It will only become worse for me because Sion is once again, he's going to come back with items right now. So if we stay in the lane, we will only give him a bigger advantage, right? We don't want that. So instead, if we go back here, we buy my items. Once we come back, lane will push towards me because it's currently under tower. Now watch this. We also have like a 50 CS lead right now or for well, more specific 40, 45. For some reason, this is about the fourth time that I play against some guy playing Bard ADC. I don't know why everyone is playing Bard ADC at the moment. But everyone's like popping up with Bard ADC. I don't understand it. I know it's like an aggressive pick, but like it's it's not optimal. Alright. 
Hecarim is currently dead, which means we don't have to place a ward down. As long as we know where Victor is going to be, um, we don't need any wards. Just gonna place some shrooms down. Um, Hecarim is still dead right now, so we don't have to worry about him. We'll use my passive whenever we can. Okay, got some good chunk off of, of his health bar. Push the next one. Um, Hecarim might be topside right now. There's a fair chance he's going to walk down here and try and gank my lane. So again, I can't really poke him right now because there's a good chance Hecarim is going to use his ultimate from here. So I'm just going to take this plant. Remember guys, like playing Teemo top, you don't really have an escaping tool. All you have is rooms and you have your W, right? So if you play against champions like Sion, Hecarim, these kind of champions that can engage on you, you gotta know where they are, okay? Like for instance, right now, Hecarim is down here. So we know that we don't have to worry about him. Hmm. He didn't go for that one. Now we hard push. Nice. Gotta be careful a little bit. Take the next plate. Now I'm going to use the passive once again. Remember guys, you're playing Teemo here. If you go into the passive, you actually gain attack speed if you, if you come out. Yes, sir. Oh, he's dead. I got you. <laughs> Goodbye. The triumph proc, so I get I actually get healing from it. Nice. Now we keep on pushing. Victor is bot lane, so we don't have to worry about anyone being here. I'm going to set passive again for attack speed. Get the tower away. Okay, now we go back. We're going to buy... Uh, we're gonna buy Nash's Tooth. I'm also going to buy the Magi for stacking. And then my next item, I think, will probably be Lyandries. Because we're playing against Sion here, we're also playing against Hecarim, which are both going to be pretty tanky here. So I'm gonna go for this one. I'll go for this one first. And I'll take a Red Shrinket. Always useful. And also the, the, the Ward, of course. So blue buff is spawning in 35. We do have a LeBlanc in mid. Um, I do want to take the blue buff. I don't know if she's going to appreciate it or not. But the blue buff is going to help me out quite a bit. That's gotta I hope she doesn't mind. So let's go back to hard pushing. I'm just going to use the shrooms to push a little bit faster. All right, blue buff is spawning. One, two, three, four. Time to take it. Use my passive. Got it. All right, cool. So now we go back top. We're going to be pushing out top pretty much all day. Going to shroom everything and use the blue buff to my advantage. Got him. Yep, you go down. Sure. Now it's time to like shrew about the place and start hard pushing a little bit. My Q is being maxed out right now. We've got about double the farm on Scion, including like a three level XP lead.
Nice. Let's go here. Maybe we can get some jungle camps now. Never mind. Nothing is here. I think he's probably going to try and charge this slow on me, so I'm going to stay away from that. No surrender. Thank you very much. I hope he's going to walk through. Well, I didn't even have to press my Q. Like, he was just dead already. I'm kind of, like, holding my Q on purpose. You know, just in case he might turn around me with the passive. So that could save me. That's gotta sting. Now we go back to shrooming the place down. Now we take the tower away with the passive. Get as much as we can. Seems like we're about to be ganked here. Got it. Remember guys, we're going to keep uh, shrooming everything here. I wasn't able to get him. Will I be alive here, actually? <laughs> I'm actually alive. <laughs> oh, see you later, man. Six and zero. Oh, I'm probably still dead in the end. Oh, feels bad, man. There, there goes my stacks. <laughs> hmm. So that was a 1v5, actually. In the end. Uh, okay. Well, uh, whatever. It's fine. I think what I'm probably going to do is just go top, uh, go bot lane this time. So instead of like going top and, and pressuring Sion, I think I'm just going to keep on splitting bot lane right now and just pressure there. You know, maybe if um, if we can get like a proper push, we can hopefully obtain the blue. Uh, which is spawning soon. I'm just going to take blue tranker just in case. Alright, let's hard push. I'm not gonna use my shrooms for the wave. I'm just gonna take it slowly. It's gonna be a hard game. I don't understand it, man. Bard players are around like everywhere and they're literally playing Bard ADC and they're actually popping off with it. That's just incredible in my opinion. All right, let's light up the place a little bit. Shroom here. I'm going to take the blue real quick. Oh, it's already been taken, of course. Right. Hello, Bard. So we do have a cane top. I mean, uh, a cane down here. I could maybe use the passive. Maybe gain something out of this. I'm kind of hoping the Drake will spawn in like 45. So I'm kind of hoping that the enemy team is going to walk through here. But uh, I'm just going to push like one way first. Otherwise, I'm spending too much. Go and lose this stuff. Okay. 
Here we go. Drake spawning soon. This guy is dead. He's overextended. Oh. Uh, one thing, like, unfortunately, we have Vayne top here. And not, like, right here to where we actually need him. So we lost another camp. It's looking pretty bad for my team, to be honest, man. They're getting kind of crushed at the moment. Our push. So once again, they're hard pushing mid. I'm just gonna do what I have to do here. Hopefully, get some pressure off. Uh, maybe we can get the the red. Maybe. Nope. Also taken. This one not taken. Nice. Oh. This game is looking pretty bad, man. Like, we cannot play this game properly, unfortunately. If we split push, the there's, like, zero pressure in this game. Like, zero, right? If we push the side lanes, enemy team is going to go five-man top lane, and they will try and kill me. And then, at the end of the day, we don't earn anything here. You see, like, we're getting jungle camps and stuff. They are already there to try and stop me from taking them. It's just like one of those annoying games where if we push side lanes, they will come. They will all come over, right? The only the solution here would be if my team was to actually group and push. That would be a, a solution to the problem. But I don't see that happening in this game. Um, as far as I've seen, like my team hasn't grouped even once this game yet. As far as we can tell, like that's why it's going to be hard. Oh, you're dead, buddy. Oh. It's like one of those Scion players who, like, go, uh, <laughs> flip pushing mode. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, guys. Hecarim here, Bard here, Senna here. And, like, everyone is dying against Victor topside. It's like 1 versus 3 and Victor wins. I lost my Magi stacks. Ooh, they're getting Akram. All these shutdowns, man. What? Victor, Victor, like, completely ran it down. Hecarim also completely ran it, man. <laughs> they both give shutdowns, what? How on earth? Oh? Oh, he went this way. Right. Child. What? She got another kill. <laughs> What's going on, man? They're like feeding Vayne so many kills this game. Legit, man. Vayne went from like 1-4 one, one to like 4. What? Pretty sure they're probably still here. I'm gonna take this before Hecarim does. Got it. Appreciate it. Ready. 
course, Bartholds. Uh, I mean, uh, Portal. They would try to chase me. Ah, uh, he's using Smite for their vet buff. Ah. Uh. Oh, huh? Oh, he also. Uh. He should have like saved the the Smite for the for the bear. Uh, for the Drake, it would have been better. Hello, Victor. I need like 100 gold for this on cell Dorn's ring. There we go. Yes, so you can probably like kind of like get the idea of this game, like what we are trying to do here. I'm just stacking AP for as much as we can. Um, my intention was also stacking Magi this game, but so far like we haven't been able to maintain those stacks anymore. So the item is like kind of useless right now. Oh, he's, he's doing the Scion strategy, I guess. He's just running it down. Got you. Gotta be careful. So yeah, unfortunately that they they not only have like all this pressure, but they also have like four dragons right now. So they also benefit from pretty much anything right now. Uh Let's go for Zanias. And then my final item, well we could go for Void Staff maybe. Um and then go for Zanias like final item. Ooh, saving the strong. Shrooming down the plays, obviously. I always put shrooms like around the walls or like right to the side all the time. Only got one catch, unfortunately. I was really hoping to get more. One, two, three, four. Well, I guess that this game is probably over. Okay, well, whatever. Either way, guys, kind of unfortunate game. We did actually pop off with Teemo. That sign just got carried, man. He actually did nothing this game, unfortunately. It is what it is, man. You know, these kind of games happen all the time. But um, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.